All right, my uh, buddy Josue is here, and up, we are everybody? playing uh, a little. Uh, I'm looking at the Hulk right there. I wish we were playing the Hulk. <laughs> I, I, I like cool. visiting these 16 bit superheroes. This is no, fun too. We are playing a, ga a new game for the Nintendo Switch called Monkey Barrels, and it's made by uh, Goodfeel, uh, same developers who brought us the, my beloved Yoshi's Crafted World. They reached out to me while we were in Japan, and these are a Japanese developer. And they said, we've got a new game that we're publishing. We want some attention on this, and we'd love it if you review it. And they sent me the code, and I was like, of course I would. I, I, anything from good feel, I'm in. Uh, and so this is called, uh, um, is it, yeah, it's Monkey Barrels. And it's a shooter, twin stick shooter, where it's a, a monkey fighting crabs. And uh, you've got to uh, find your way through the, the maze of, of the environment and destroy as many of these guys these little crabs that have taken over TV sets and monitors and stuff. Oh, I, it's, it's a little weird, uh, but lots of power-ups and lots of different weapons and um, a fun kind of take on the whole Smash TV vibe. There's some cool boss fights and stuff, too. So Josue is going to... Uh, you're playing, like, level two, right? You're, you just picked up on my game, I think. Yeah. So it's good. probably a little bit tougher, but you'll be fine. You got the idea. Uh, just try to stay alive. Uh, I had a question from Kurt in the audience about Stadia, and... Uh, I uh, wanted to know my thoughts on Stadia. I would love to give you some thoughts on Stadia. I don't have my Stadia package yet. I actually paid money to be a, uh, to be a founder, and they're supposed to send me out a bundle. I had one email in the summer, and then that's it. And then I got another one today saying, don't forget, you want to have uh, Ethernet plugged into your uh, Chromecast device to get the fastest speed. I don't have the bundle. I don't have any of the stuff. I don't have my username or any of that stuff figured out yet. And it's like, it's out tomorrow. So I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like, um, and some of the reviews are starting to hit right now. So clearly Google was working with some uh, outlets and stuff to get some um, uh, buzz and some hype on this. Uh, but I feel like they have kind of botched this launch. Even though they've added a whole bunch of new games, they're up to 22 games right now. Uh, the fact that it's just this vague kind of deal. I, I did get a shipping order Whoa. today. It didn't tell me who it's from, but I have something on the way, so I suspect it's the it's the founder's bundle. But it's so weird that it's out tomorrow, and I don't have it. It's it just seems it seems like some balls have been dropped. Uh, question from uh, Taz: How far is Ruby through uh, Luigi's Mansion Three? Uh, she's got about five of the floors already. She's doing great. Taz was watching me stream a little uh, uh, Jedi Fallen Order the other day, and Ruby was playing on the Switch Lite. She was playing uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, she's loving it, and she's loving the Switch Lite. Um, and she even loves that I got the Switch Lite signed by uh, developers of Platinum. So oh, it's, it's really cool. It's, that's uh, awesome. it's a yellow Switch Lite with uh, some signatures on the back. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, hello to Brian Forber. It looks like a cartoony, uh, Frober. Uh, it looks like a cartoony Smash TV. That's an absolutely perfect analogy right yes. there. Uh, Graham Coombe is laughing about something. I don't know. Oh, Hulk has the clap. That's from, uh, Blake right there. <laughs> uh, he does have the clap. Uh, the Hulk reminds me of Impossible Mission, not to be confused with Mission Impossible. This game has robots. Uh, Rick Savage with some commentary on that Hulk video game, the 16-bit Hulk game. A uh, comment from Jordan Cunningham. My sister just found me a SNES card for Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for my birthday. It's definitely in my top five favorite games of all time. It is really incredible how uh, precious those Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis cartridges are. I went to this, speaking of which, I went to this incredible store, well, a bunch of amazing stores in Akihabara in, in Tokyo when we were there last week. Uh, one of them, and I'm giving them a little bit of a plug here, if you ever make it to Tokyo, you should check out Mandarake. M-A-N-D-A-R-A-K-E. It's seven floors of toys and um, hobby stuff and some comics and stuff, but they also have a whole floor dedicated to video games. And they had tons of Super Famicom and Famicom and Game Boy and old um, Mega Drive games. And I didn't buy any because, um, I, you know, I have a huge collection now of Genesis and Super Nintendo games, but... Holy crap, is it uh, compelling. Like, you really feel like, oh, if they had Lethal Foes there and it was a reasonable price, I would have bought the Japanese version of Spider-Man and Lethal Foes for the Famic Super Famicom because that was never released until after the fact. 
as a uh, a, a, as a uh, um, translated import or like a reproduction cartridge. Uh, and it's a great Spider-Man game. It's unfortunate that we never got it over here, but uh, it was really, really fun. And they had tons of hot toys and, and uh, tons of Gundam figures and lots of Japanese exclusives. I took it fairly easy. I bought a uh, Wolverine from SH Figure Arts, the, uh, the Samurai Wolverine. Uh, and I bought the, and I put it on my Instagram, about the Spider-Man um, uh, from Figure Arts as well from uh, the video game, the Insomniac video game with the white spider. And that's sitting right beside my, uh, my Spider-Man PS4. So I didn't go too nuts. On, uh, on action figures. But I did load up Ruby with a, an awesome little Pikachu and, and uh, a little bear that wears a bear coat, which is so adorable. Uh, all right, Alexander Fraser, I've been using xCloud here in Canada too, and it's not supposed to be available to us yet. I need a VPN to log into it. But other than that, the lag is no worse than playing uh, Rock Band somewhere else. Um, oh, Death Stranding. Yes, that's the other game that I've got to play. Um, uh, yeah, I'm super psyched to, to check out Google Stadia. I saw Andy Max from uh, Game Informer had some comments on it. Um, said that there are some hiccups and some issues, but it actually works quite well. Um, and so, uh, you know, I'll have some thoughts as soon as I get the system in. I, I know that it's coming, and, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to checking it all out. I'm hoping that uh, there's some kind of a... Uh, a reviewer account or something so I can log into a bunch of different software. I'm not going to buy all of these games. I have almost all of them already anyways. Uh, but I want to check out a bunch. Uh, I think Samurai Showdown, though, is a free... And that's a good one to test. The uh, the new 3D mm. Samurai Showdown is a free game with the Founders That's pack, pretty cool. Right? And that and, and, uh, Fighter. and Destiny, too. So that, those are two good games to check out the lag with. Uh, super psyched to, to check all that stuff. Comment from uh, Jordan Cunningham, Mandalorian is amazing. The ending of the first episode brought out the tears. Little green guy is so cute, and he's just becoming cuter, right? Like when he reaches out to use the f to heal his buddy, it's like, oh my god, you're amazing. Question from Adrian Leon, Vic, would you ever want to watch any of the very old Disney uh, movies again on Disney Plus? Uh, I'll tell you something, I actually, um, I, I have been surfing through Disney Plus. I've been playing more games and being able to watch a bunch of stuff on Disney Plus since we got back, but uh, um, one of the things that I wanted to see is if they had the Davy Crockett show, and I know that there's some weird, you know, dated stuff in there, but the theme was, I, I watched that show as a kid in syndication. When I grew up, you know, there was no cable TV. I grew up in a time, I remember when the VCR came out, you know. <laughs> I'm in my late 30s, so I know, but <laughs> I remember when uh, a lot of this technology was just coming into play. And uh, so I watched whatever was on TV and in syndication, and Davy Crockett was on TV every weekend as a, as a kid. And, you know, as a kid, that music and this kind of Indiana Jones-esque, you know, rough-and-tumble character uh, registered, you know. He was a, he was a hero in the, in the wilderness. And uh, that Davy, Davy Crockett, I, I used to love that. So I, it was cool to kind of have that immediate nostalgic flashback like that. Um, so, and I, I definitely will dig into some of the classic Disney movies. What's ironic is I've been collecting Disney animated movies since the DVD era. I have tons of animated flicks because they used to sell them to people like, we're taking this out of the vault and then it's going back in the vault. You're never going to get it again. Now everything is available. The whole vault that Disney has is like right there and you can watch anything. And a lot of it is in 4K. A lot of it looks better than it's ever looked. And it's, uh, it's incredible, you know. Um, I can't wait to, you know, surf through a lot of that stuff with my family. The uh, Rise of the Skywalker film will be the first Star Wars movie that my daughter is going to in the theaters. And I, she's more interested in other stuff than Star Wars. But I'm slowly trying to coerce her to watch all of the movies. And I know that they're not the despecialized movies on, uh, on Disney+, Plus, but uh, I want her to know who all the characters are before we go and see Rise of uh, Skywalker uh, together. And hopefully she likes them all. And then she can watch Mandalorian and all that stuff. Uh, question, how many more EPL streams do we have before the R&R &R Awards and the Christmas break? Uh, not that many. December 16th is when we're going to start the, uh, right? That's what we've, we worked out, I think, Blake. Rocket and Reagan Awards that week. Uh, but we're probably going to shoot all of that studio stuff um, in one day, and I don't know if that's going to be a live show. I'm still figuring that out. So this week we are putting together 
Well, this is kind of the last big week of the big reviews. So upcoming is, and good question, Taz. Upcoming is Death Stranding, which I've started, but then Jedi Fallen Order took all of my attention. I, I was thinking, like, how am I going to get all of these things in? Am I going to bounce from one game to another and give you guys a bunch of first thought kind of videos? And then Jedi just took over. I was just like, I'm having so much fun. I just want to play this and stream this. And so I put in tons of time on that. I started Death Stranding, I've started Pokemon, I've started Need for Speed, uh, I've started Stormland, which is the uh, the last big Insomniac title um, that they're, they've done for Oculus. It's one of their last ones before they're uh, owned by Sony, so it might be the last one that they're they're ever going to release that is not a, a Sony game. Um, I, I stream some of that. It's incredible. I'll have some thoughts on that and the Oculus Rift S. I've got Narcos. I've got a few other ones as well. Um, so I've got my kind of last week of trying to get through all of these big, uh, big titles, get you guys some thoughts on them. Next week, what I'd like to do is a bunch of um, sort of buyer's guide, kind of uh, end of the year idea kind of videos, um, sort of isolating a bunch of thoughts around all that stuff, which gets us thinking, all of us collectively, about the uh, best games of 2019 and the best games of this last decade. Um, and so... Oh, when I'm not playing stuff and streaming stuff this week, I'll be thinking of uh, uh, what the plan is going to be for those buyer's guides and for the Rocket and Ray Gun uh, rundown stuff, like what we're, what we're going to do from episode to episode. But um, if you want to get a jump on things, you can just take a look at our 2018 Rocket and Ray Gun Awards. It's going to be a lot of the same types of categories. And if you guys want to start putting uh, your video pieces together, you can shoot them on your phones. Just make sure you've got some pretty good lighting and you're not surrounded by lots of noise. Um, and you can share them on... Uh, how did people get them to us last year? They, they created YouTube channels. Are we able to take them down off Twitter? Yeah. The easiest thing is to create an unlisted uh, video channel on, on YouTube and just create little vid like a, you know, one minute or something like that on your favorite uh, 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 shooter or your favorite role-playing game of 2019 or whatever, or, or if you're talking about your favorite game of uh, the last decade. Put that video up as a separate little video on a channel and keep it unlisted. Totally understand if you don't want to do that on uh, YouTube or you can send them to us as direct videos on Facebook. Or Google Drive. Okay, yeah. A shareable, a shareable link on uh, Google Drive. We'll put all of this information in a textual thing when we put the, the, the call out out there. But if you guys, if anybody wants to get a jump on that, you sure can. Uh, Geek Hero of Comics and Consoles. I still follow EP Daily on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Vic, the uh, director of Charlie's Angels blames men for why a bomb. Do you agree? Protect. Um, I love Elizabeth Banks. I think she's fantastic. Uh, I, I saw the comment about there's been 37 Spider-Man movies and why can't there be a, a female-driven uh, franchise with, with Charlie's Angels? I totally agree with that. I think that's awesome. Um, but I feel like we're, we're sort of saturated with so much nostalgic um, uh, sort of material right now. I mean, to, uh, the Terminator movie bombed as well, you know? And we're starting to see that over and over again. It feels like Hollywood has uh, is running a little dry right now. And they need to kind of shock us with their reinventions, like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse did, you know? Um, I think it's, or The Mandalorian has as well. Uh, I don't know if people were like clamoring for Charlie's Angels. I think that's the reason why it bombed. I don't think it's the, because uh, men aren't interested in Charlie's Angels. I think if it was, if the word was, this is an amazing movie that you can't miss and look yeah. at these performances, everybody would have shown up. But I feel, I, I feel when you look at a, that on the marquee, it's like, oh, they're trying to cash in on something that people are already familiar with. We can point to that story over and over again. I, I don't think it has anything to do with, uh, you know, the, the male-female dynamic in there at all. Um... I still want to see it, though. I haven't seen it. We were traveling, so I, there was a screening last week, and I was away. I still want to see it. Uh, how about sending uh, videos to your Discord uh, direct message, Vic? That's from Audrey on Leon. Yeah, absolutely. I think I can uh, download the videos from there. That'd be great. 
Uh, not sure anybody was clamoring for a new, a new uh, Terminator flick either. That's from uh, Dave Station VR. Yeah, and I think that was indicative of the box office there, and that disappointed a whole bunch of people. Dave, Su- uh, Danny Sullivan of uh, Ed- uh, Edmonton12345 says, I'm sick of remakes. I think that is it, right? We, we underline that. It's like it feels disingenuous now. It feels like uh, people are, you know, these studios are trying to make money, clearly, and, and money has been made with these big brands before. But I think if we're going to reinvent, it has to be reinvented in a way where the, you know, everybody is freaking out about it. it. You know, like Rogue One. Rogue One, I think everybody was like, well, I don't know, this is going to be weird. And then it turned out to be this really cool celebration of something, but from a different slant uh, that I think most people, except for Blake, really, really enjoy. <laughs> Uh, okay, I've got, I think, time for one or two more questions here. Uh, uh, will I be, uh, Graham Coombe says, will you be reviewing Pokemon Sword or Shield? I've got, uh, I've got Shield, and I've started it, and I definitely will be playing that. I also will be reviewing the, uh, Pokemon, uh, <laughs> I, I, I say Pokemon because it's yellow. I'll, I'll be reviewing the, uh, the Switch Lite. We shot it in Japan. Um, Blake's just uh, getting to all of the editing that has to happen with all of that content. Uh, but there'll be a review for the Switch Lite and a review for Pokemon Sword, uh, Pokemon Shield very soon. Uh, Rick Savage, and I think we are going to end this. Actually, Mondo Blasto Zero says, Charlie's Angels already has a movie remake. Why make another one? Shrug. And then... Uh, uh, we're going to end this with Rick Savage saying, uh, oh, where was it? I lost it. What? We need a new series? We need new series. Something different. Pretty much. Right? Yeah, yeah. we want to be. But then, you know, we, what do we get? We got the, um, uh, well, well, Battle Angel Alita. That was awesome. That was amazing. amazing. A totally was cool great. movie. Yeah. Um, not enough people saw that one. And then there was also the Luc Besson movie last year. The uh, uh, Oh, Valerian and yeah. the City of a Thousand Planets. Was that two years what? ago? Good Lord. It's all weird. So much stuff is coming our way. Uh, and that was super cool, and nobody went to see that one either. That Wasn't that great? That was fantastic. That had one of the strongest it. sci-fi opening sequences oh, I've ever yeah, seen. The first Everybody's 10 minutes. Coming to say hello to each other. That was so cool. cool. Such a cool thing. That was awesome. Uh, okay, the Ren gets the last question, then we gotta, we got to wrap it up. How long do you think it'll take to have uh, Taika Waititi's droid character in another episode? Uh, I, I just I want Taika Waititi in every episode of everything. The guy's amazing. He's, he's the best. He's such a cool I, dude, and he's so funny, right? I saw his name in the credits of Rick and Morty, I think, Yeah. last night. Yeah, he's that having his awesome. moment, man. Yeah. You know, he sucked in Green Lantern, though, so he's not good <laughs> in everything. He was terrible in that. He not was perfect. The whole movie was bad, but he was lame. I was like, you're such, he's, he's such a talent, but that was, I mean, he was totally <laughs> wasted in that movie. As much was. Yeah. Uh, all right, you guys, that's going to do it for this episode of EP Live. We will be back on Wednesday with a brand new episode. I'm working on a, uh, a very cool guest for us, uh, but we'll also be putting a lot of the interviews and reviews and all the stuff together. Uh, and stay tuned, there'll be some new content on the channel tomorrow, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for playing. Is this making you uh, this, smile? It was really fun. I didn't beat the level at all, but it's, it's pretty cool, I'm right? It. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's hard really cool. Well, I started you on level two. Good thanks job. For, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure, until we see you again, that you're playing forever.